The show begins with Chan, a girl from a wealthy family who lives with her grandfather. The day before her engagement, she dreams of her parents, and her mother tells her that at Mank University, she'll find the life she's looking for. The next day, Chan decides to sell all her engagement gifts, puts her friend Nai in her wedding dress, and makes her escape. When the groom realizes she's missing, he sends her grandfather's men after her, but she manages to slip away. She receives a message that tomorrow at noon is the last deadline to apply to college, only to find out her grandfather has canceled all her credit cards. When he realizes she bought a ticket to leave town, he remembers how he once told her that her father caused her mother's death, and that true love doesn't exist. Chan changes her appearance upon arriving in the new city. While walking, she accidentally swaps bags with a man she bumps into. Later, while trying to buy food, she realizes the bag has been switched. Now, without money, she starts begging but finds it difficult because of her fancy appearance. A guy notices and teaches her how to beg effectively. Then she heads to a concert by a famous singer, Sai, who goes by His Highness. At the concert, she spots her grandfather's men and runs. Meanwhile, Sai's father's men are also there to take him to his father's wedding, saying that if he refuses, they'll take him by force. Si tells them to wait outside while he changes, but instead, he sneaks out disguised as a girl. They quickly realize it's him and chase after him. While Chan is escaping, she sees Sai changing and impulsively hugs him to avoid being seen. They pass the guards without drawing attention. When Sai spots his father's men, he pulls her in for a kiss to keep his cover. Afterward, he apologizes, explaining he didn't mean to kiss her. As he's about to leave, she stops him, thinking he's offering an autograph. He realizes she has no clue he's the famous singer, Sai. She then asks for his help to find her bag, promising to forget the kiss if he helps. Together, they retrieve her bag, but he refuses to give it back unless she helps him in return and he takes her along to his father's wedding. At the wedding, a woman approaches and, jealous, asks who Chan is. Si grabs the microphone and announces her as his fiance, disrupting the ceremony. Chan gets furious and argues with him, and to calm her down, he slips some money into her pocket. Si's father expresses disapproval of their engagement, and while Chan is eating, she accidentally spills water on herself and ends up in an awkward situation, trying to clean up but instead causing a mess. She tries to leave, but the guards chase her. Sai and his father come to an agreement. He'll call off his engagement if his father cancels his own wedding. Sai agrees, and later, Chan sneaks into a dressing room and finds a gown. Not realizing she's back to her original look, she meets Joe, the man she had swapped bags with. She asks him to zip up her dress, and when she goes out, she sees Sai driving away, feeling annoyed at him for all her troubles. The next day, Chan goes to apply to college and sees her grandfather's men. She changes her look again to slip past them. After applying, she notices a picture of her father on the wall and learns from a professor that he was one of the college's best teachers. He was the head of the student union, and after he graduated, no one heard from him again. When Sai meets with his manager, he finds out that a picture of him with Chan has gone viral. Sai doesn't seem bothered and leaves it to his manager to handle. A reporter calls Sai's manager, who responds by saying it was just a misunderstanding and that Chan is simply Sai's assistant, nothing more. Later, Chan heads to her room in the dorm and meets Chang, who becomes her friend. She explains that there are three famous people on campus. The first is Zhou, the student president who excels academically and in basketball. The second is Lin, a rebellious student whom everyone is afraid of. And finally, there's Sai, the most popular of all, with a huge fan following. As soon as Chan sees him, she calls him a devil and says she wants to hit him. Chang warns her that Sai has a lot of fans and advises her not to mess with him to avoid getting expelled. One of Sai's friends tells him that his fiance is on campus, but Sai responds that he doesn't have a fiance and doesn't know her. As Chan walks away, she accidentally bumps into Joe and his friends, leading to a heated argument. Security arrives, noticing that she's new, and asks for her ID, which she realizes she left in her dorm room, resulting in her being kicked out of the college temporarily. Chang tells her she went back to their room to find the ID, but it seems Joe and his friends took it, and she'll have to wait until the next day to get a replacement. Later, Chan gets a call from her grandfather asking where she is. She tells him she's in Yun Chung and doesn't plan to return, then hangs up. She heads to a restaurant, but after finishing her meal, 
she realizes she doesn't have enough money. To solve this, she rips a piece from a poster of C and writes an IOU. When the restaurant owner discovers what she's done, she makes Chan wash dishes as punishment. Chong arrives to help her, but as they're washing, some dishes slip and break. Chan blames everything on C, saying if she ever sees him again, she'll hit him. Chang then reveals that C is actually in the same class as them. The next day in class, the teacher introduces Chan to the students, and the only empty seat is next to C. When Chan sits down, she extends her hand to greet him, but C refuses to shake her hand. The teacher insists that he should treat his classmates respectfully, so he reluctantly shakes her hand with clear disinterest. As the teacher starts her lecture, Chan moves her chair closer to the front, but the teacher asks her to return to her assigned seat. As she stares at Sai, she tells him that just because he's acting like he doesn't know her doesn't mean things are over. He replies that he didn't realize someone would take their picture and post it online. He asks her to forget what happened, but she steps on his foot, causing him to fall off his chair. The teacher stops them and punishes both by assigning them to clean the college. When the teacher leaves, Sai's fans gather around him, but Chan follows him, making him a bit nervous. He tells her that any problem can be resolved, but she punches him and he falls to the ground. Then she drags him along to clean. Other students around campus start talking, calling her a crazy fan of Sai, especially after a video of him kissing her goes viral. She wants to argue with them, but Chang pulls her away. Later, she meets C and his manager, angrily accusing him of being the cause of all her troubles. She hits him, and Sai remarks that no one has ever dared to hit him before, making her the first. Chang tells him she'll keep hitting him from now on. C's manager suggests that she become C's assistant, but she refuses, threatening to spread rumors about him everywhere. Chan then starts brainstorming ways to get information about her father. Some students from her class approach her, curious about her relationship with Sai. She tells them she'll spill the details if they help her find information about an alumnus. They mention a room where all student records are kept, which no one can enter except maybe Joe, since he's part of the student union. Chan starts spreading rumors about Sai. One night she sneaks into the room and accidentally knocks over a painting. A teacher catches her and says the painting is worth 100000 giving her a week to pay for it. She later follows Chang, discovering that she works at a restaurant to pay her tuition. Chan offers to help her and work together. While there, she notices Joe with his brother who speaks rudely to him. Chan pretends to be Joe's girlfriend and accidentally spills coffee on his brother. Upset, Joe's brother leaves and Joe asks her not to tell anyone about his brother's behavior. She promises to keep it a secret if he helps her join the student union, and he agrees. Chan then buys food and drinks and starts selling them at campus events. She also collects letters from Sai's fans, giving them to him for a signature in exchange for a fee. C gives her money to buy drinks for the students instead of signing the letters, and she places her order while sitting down. When Sai realizes she tricked him, he gets angry and scolds her. She grabs her things and runs off. They have a swimming class, and while everyone else is wearing swimwear, Sai isn't. She notices and goes over to where he's sitting, trying to push him into the pool, but ends up falling in herself, and she can't swim. Instead of rescuing her, Sai runs away because he has a phobia of water. Lin comes to her rescue instead, but rumors start spreading among the students that Lin wouldn't have saved her. He would have just let her drown if he'd seen her. She defends him, saying she saw him save her, but the students tease her, saying she must have a crush on him. Lin overhears, and as soon as they notice him, they scatter. She quickly explains she didn't mean to cause trouble. After a week passes, she counts the money she saved, but it's not enough to cover the 100000 She pulls out the business card of Sai's manager and agrees to work with him. The next day, she pays for the painting, and soon, word spreads that she's now Sai's personal assistant. She rents out her chair in class to Sai's fans, frustrating him and he retaliates by giving her extra tasks, calling her over repeatedly. Their teacher announces that C received the lowest score in class and assigns Chan to help him with his studies. The teacher also mentions there will be a welcome party for new students, and the students ask C to sing, which he agrees to. While they're in class, Chan stares at him without him noticing. Later, Joe helps her get into the student council, and she asks about the archives. 
He explains that access is restricted, but he leads her to the student council room, where Chang is also present. She volunteers to assist, and they have her move all the chairs in the room as her first task. The next day in class, drawings she made of Sai get posted from an anonymous email, and Si's fans lash out at her, leaving Chan upset. She helps Sai with studying, but he gets frustrated when she tells him he doesn't understand, so he storms off to practice. During practice, C has written a sad song, which his production company rejects because it doesn't match his usual upbeat style, leaving him feeling down. Later at school, he sings the song for Joe, who listens closely and realizes the song's meaning, sensing Sai's frustration. Before the welcome party for new students, Lin sends someone to steal the microphone so that Sai can't perform. However, Chan finds out, retrieves the mic, and holds onto it for him. When he sings, she finds herself looking at him differently. The next day in class, C notices Chan has a scratch on her hand and gives her a bandage with his picture on it. She teases him about his picture, then hums the song he sang at the party. Back in her room, she checks her heart rate and finds it racing. Chang suggests that she might be falling in love with someone. Afterward, Chan keeps imagining C everywhere she goes. The following day, in the student council room, she tries to annoy C by giving him student ID cards to distribute. Chan returns to her room and finds Chang upset. She asks her what's wrong, but Chang says it's nothing and that she'll feel better after some sleep. The next morning, she tells Chan that her father has been sick for a while and is in the hospital needing an expensive surgery. Chan reassures her and promises to help. She decides to audition for Sai's music video, but when she goes, they reject her based on her appearance alone. Determined, Chan decides to apply again under a new alias with her natural look. This time, she succeeds and lands the part. Back in class, she notices Sai eating chocolate even though his company has forbidden him from having chocolate or fast food. If he breaks this rule, it voids their contract. She tells him she won't snitch on him in exchange for his help in delivering orders. After completing the delivery, she gives Sai a bag of chips and helps him work out. The next day, she arrives to film the video using her real name and look. And Joe recognizes her, remembering her from Sai's father's wedding during the shoot, there's a scene involving piano music, and Chan offers to help. She plays the piano effortlessly, surprising everyone. When the shooting begins, she recalls Sai's past actions and steps on his foot as payback. After they finish, he asks for her number and suggests they could be friends, but she tells him she's only staying temporarily. She takes her earnings from the shoot and gives them to her friend. While they're together, some people suddenly kidnap them, and it turns out Lin is behind it. He calls C to inform him of Chan's capture and gives him the location. However, Chan manages to escape with her friend and they end up hiding in a haunted house. C arrives with Joe and Lin accuses C of being a distraction to him and reveals he doesn't want him to sing Breath, a song Sai wrote for her. Lin and his friends start attacking Sai, but Sai eventually finds Chan unconscious in the haunted house and carries her out. Lin later finds her as well, but notices her ankle is twisted, so he helps her back to the dorm. While carrying her, he notices she's still half unconscious, and in frustration, holds her face, saying she looks awful. Since she's shorter than him, she stands on a nearby bench to reach him and holds his face the same way. When she steps down, she stumbles and hurts her leg badly, so Sai carries her on his back. The next day, Sai tells his manager that he won't be singing Breath, and that he'll accept any penalty from the company. Chan, walking with crutches, runs into Joe and asks about Si. Joe explains that since his mother's death, Sai has changed completely, and if she wants more answers, she should ask Sai himself. Later, Chan and Si talk, and she shares her plan to get back at Lin. Sai refuses to help, but when she mentions his mother, he gets angry and walks off. Chang draws sketches of Si, and the next day she shows them to him, saying the artist must know him very well. That night, C invites Chang to dinner at a restaurant where he confides that he won't release the song because it would hurt too many people. When she asks why, he explains that the song was written for a girl who passed away three years ago, and releasing it would keep him in constant memory of her, something he's not ready to face. Chan sits for a while before leaving, feeling disappointed because when she had asked Sai to share his story, he had refused. She notices that Sai seems to only get close to beautiful girls. Later at college, her classmates approach her, saying they want to be her friends, and they buy snacks from her. 
However, after one of the girls eats some of the snacks, she ends up with food poisoning. It turns out the food was expired and rumors spread quickly throughout the college, leading everyone to avoid buying from her. The next day as Chan heads to the store where she bought the snacks, Sai stops her and offers his help. Chan, frustrated, punches him and tells him she doesn't need his assistance. C, determined to help, goes to the surveillance room, retrieves the footage, and discovers that someone else had tampered with her snacks. He gives the recording to Joe, who shows it to the student council, proving Chan's innocence. Later, Chan is tasked with cleaning the archive room. When she enters, she finds C there too, startling her so much she screams. As he tries to leave, they realize they're locked in together. She starts reading his book and finds a picture of her parents, bringing her to tears as she realizes her teacher was once close friends with them. Suddenly, she hears an insect, and out of fear she jumps onto Sai's back. Lin, who had been worried and contacted security, arrives and unlocks the door for them. He's visibly drunk, not quite aware of himself. He follows her to her dorm, but can't remember her room, so he accidentally wakes up the whole place. Then, in a moment of jealousy, he asks why she's getting close to others and insists she shouldn't talk to anyone but him. He almost kisses her but ends up falling asleep on her shoulder. Joe arrives and takes him home. The next day at college, rumors fly about their night together. Sai's manager shows up, explaining that someone photographed Sai at her dorm the previous night. He tells them that since Sai has an event tomorrow, with journalists attending, Chan should be close to Sai and act as his assistant. The following day, they arrive at the event, where Chan tells the reporters she's Sai's assistant and that they have a good relationship. While they wait for C's scene to be filmed, Chan starts feeling cold, so C takes off his jacket and gives it to her. When it's finally C's turn, he learns his scene has changed, requiring him to fall into a pool. C, terrified due to his fear of water, gets through the first take, but is asked to redo it. Chan volunteers to take his place and the director agrees. After she climbs out of the pool, her makeup has washed off and she fears C might recognize her, so she hides her face and leaves quickly. Walking down the street afterward, she's harassed by a group of guys. Lin spots her, helps her, and safely escorts her home. Later, Sai takes her to a secret place on campus that only he knows about and gives her a small cactus, saying it's the first time he's ever brought someone there. The next day, Chan sits with Si and Joe and they talk about Chang. Chan jokes that Chang must be a ghost, given her tendency to appear and disappear mysteriously. The school announces auditions for Beauty and the Beast, and they all make a bet on who will get the lead role. Chan wins the part, but struggles with her performance. She jokingly suggests to the teacher that Sai should play the role of Belle, reminding everyone of how convincing he looked dressed as a girl previously. Sai gets annoyed and tells her she would make a great beast because she looks ugly. In the end, he is cast as Belle, while Chan plays the beast. During a piano scene in the play, she plays a piece, and when the teacher sees her, she feels a sense of familiarity, as though she's seen someone play that way before. Joe, noticing her playing, realizes that Chan is actually Chang in disguise. Later that night, Joe sits with Sai and mentions that it's obvious Sai has feelings for Chang. Joe then directly asks Si if he likes her, to which Si dismissively replies that no one would ever love her. Suddenly, C receives a call informing him that his computer was hacked and the song Breath was leaked online. The next day, Lin confronts C, saying he knows the song was leaked but warns him not to blame anyone for what he's about to do. On the day of the play, right before it starts, Chan finds a bottle she assumes is water and drinks it, only to later realize it's alcohol. At the end of the play, she kisses Sai on stage and faints right afterward. The following day, after she wakes up, Chan hears that her teacher isn't feeling well, so she decides to visit her. When she arrives at her teacher's house, she finds a photo of her teacher with her parents and realizes that her teacher had been close to them. Her teacher then confesses that she was friends with Chan's mother and that her father had loved her mother deeply. She brings out a photo album, showing Chan pictures of her parents and sharing stories about them. The teacher also promises to help her find her father. Chan moved, hugs her teacher, and cries. After leaving, Chan calls her grandfather and asks him to tell her the truth about what happened to her parents. However, he replies that there are some things she's better off not knowing. Frustrated, she ends the call. 
That night, Joe sits with Sai and asks him to come with him to buy a birthday gift for his grandmother, and Sai agrees. Meanwhile, Chan is at a cafe dressed in her natural look. While Joe and Sai are out walking, Sai spots her at the cafe and suggests they go over and say hello. They approach her table and sit down with her. After a while, Si leaves, and later he sits with Chang, telling her that she reminds him of an old friend. He clarifies it wasn't just any friend, and she assumes he's about to confess he likes her, but instead he says she's like a sister to him. The next day, during Joe's grandmother's birthday, Chan shows up and jokingly makes fun of their outfits. Just then, Tang, a childhood friend of Si and Joe who is two years older, arrives wearing the same dress as Chan. An accident follows, and juice spills on Tang who accuses Chan of doing it on purpose. Joe's brother also starts speaking to her rudely, so Sai, upset, takes Chan and leaves. Si offers to take her somewhere fun before heading back to the dorm so they go to play basketball. Chan accidentally hits Si in the face with the ball, and he shows her how to play. After playing, Sai admits he rarely gets to be himself, because he always has to maintain a certain image in front of fans, but with her, he feels free to be real. Just then, they hear a noise, and Sai teases her, saying it might be a rat, which scares her, so she hops onto his back. They then find a cat, and she tells him she'll adopt it. The next day in class, Chan sketches Si, but when he sees her, he grabs her notebook and looks through the drawings. She worries he'll realize she's the one posting them online and quickly claims she's only copying the drawings. Later, the teacher calls her to the office where her grandfather is waiting. Seeing her, he scolds her for her appearance and outfit, telling her she must return home with him. She strikes a deal with her grandfather, saying she'll participate in a college beauty contest. If she loses, she'll go back with him, but if she wins, she can stay. Her grandfather reluctantly agrees. Chan goes to register for the contest, but people mock her. When she enters class, her classmates cheer her on, encouraging her to win. Chan asks Si to write a song for her to perform at the contest, but he refuses. Then she talks to Joe and tells him she has a secret to share. Later, when Sai and Joe meet, Sai asks Joe what Chan told him. Joe responds that she asked him to help her with the contest, which makes C jealous. As Joe plays her tune, Sai points out that Joe's playing it wrong and takes over playing it himself. The next day, Sai joins Chan and Joe for practice, but he seems annoyed. While they're rehearsing, someone informs Joe that, as the student council president, it's inappropriate for him to assist Chan, and students have complained. Joe tells Chan that someone else might be able to help her, so she goes to Sai and asks him for help. Si refuses, but secretly hopes she'll beg him. Disappointed, she leaves. On the day of the contest, Chan is surprised to see Si helping her by playing along with her. After they finish, he stands beside her and tells her she looks beautiful. Although she performs excellently, she doesn't win, and she notices Si and Chan exchanging glances. Chan is upset when she realizes her grandfather had intervened in her loss. The next day, Chan packs her things to go back home, but her grandfather messages her, saying she actually won and can stay in college. Later, Chan finds out there's a mandatory two-day school trip over the weekend, but she has a shoot scheduled. While talking on the phone quietly, Sai tries to eavesdrop but can't make out what she's saying. She asks the teacher if she can skip the trip, but her request is denied. After her shoot, Sai offers her a ride to the trip, so she arrives with him. When they reach, Si asks about Chan, and he's told she's late due to work and will join shortly. Concerned, Si says he'll go look for her. Chan changes her appearance to look like Chang and meets up with Si, although her leg is hurting. When Si asks what happened, she tells him she twisted her ankle. Si tells her he'll introduce her to Chang. When they go to look, she's gone off for a walk. Si decides to go find her, unaware that Chan is switching between her two personas. Joe follows her and tells her he knows everything. She explains that she came to college to search for information about her father, and Joe promises to help. Later, back with Sai and the others, Sai asks about Chung, and Joe tells him she's asleep and shouldn't be disturbed. The students then gather to watch the meteors. Chan slips and falls down the mountain slope, and Joe tries to climb down to rescue her. When they come to, Chung feels a headache, and Si tells her she has a slight bump. She then confesses that she has a crush on him and Sai admits that he likes her too. She asks him since when and he replies, from the very beginning. Sai adds that he feels comfortable and can be himself around her and that he gets really jealous whenever he sees her talking to other guys. 
Joe overhears this, thinking she's beautiful, but believing he can't be with her. Just as Sai is about to mention Joe's feelings, Joe walks in and interrupts the conversation. The next day, Joe tells Sai that Ching had left early due to feeling unwell. Sai then asks Chung why she didn't come to college, and she explains that she's too sick to attend. Sai offers to visit her dorm, but she tells him it's off limits to guys. Undeterred, Sai disguises himself as a girl and sneaks into her dorm, where he notices the bump on her head. He asks her how it happened, and she says she hit her head while sleeping. Just then, another girl walks in and sees a guy in the room, not realizing it's Sai. She starts screaming, causing the whole dorm to chase after him, though they can't catch him. The following day, word spreads around college that there was a pervert dressed as a girl in the girl's dorm. Later, Chung is called to the teacher's office, where her teacher informs her that her father passed away in the same accident that claimed her mother's life while they were attempting to escape. Heartbroken, Chung calls her grandfather and tells him that she found out about her father's death. Her grandfather admits he kept it from her for her own good, but she remains upset and leaves in tears. Chung's friends search for her, and when they find her, she shares what she learned, saying there's no reason for her to stay in college anymore. Sai encourages her to stay, reminding her she's not alone. Later, they give her files of the students to organize, but Joe steps in and says he'll do it for her. While going through the files, Joe realizes her birthday is the next day, so he surprises her with a little celebration with their friends. Joe then tells everyone to follow him for another surprise, asking them to wait, but when he returns, they're gone. Sitting together, Chung starts crying, remembering her parents, and C gives her his mother's necklace as a birthday gift, asking her to take good care of it. Joe sees this and feels left out, sensing he's becoming an extra in their lives. The next day, Joe finds out that Sai celebrated Chung's birthday with her. Hurt, he goes to confront Chang and picks a fight, almost slapping her. Sai steps in, grabbing Joe's hand and scolding him. She goes, and it turns out he's her brother. She tells him that since Chung entered their lives, Si has been distant and has been treating her poorly. So, she goes to Lin and tells him to stay away from Si. When she sees Chung wearing Si's necklace, she yanks it off, which causes Chung to fall down the stairs, injuring her neck. At the hospital, Si finds out that Lin is the one responsible for what happened. He confronts Lin and they get into a fight. In the scuffle, a helium tank is knocked over, and when Sai breathes in a large amount of helium, he feels unwell and starts recalling the accident. He rushes to confront Lin again, and Chung tries to protect him. They end up falling together, and Chung gets hurt in the process. She asks Si to help her, but he is still in shock from the accident and leaves her running away. Later, Chung visits the hospital and finds Lin. When she discovers that Chung likes Lin, she embarrasses her by mentioning that she's poor. Chung angrily scolds her and kicks her out. Afterward, Chung sits with Joe, who learns that Si hasn't gone home since the accident. Joe asks her if anything strange happened, and she tells him about Sai inhaling a lot of helium, which decreases oxygen levels. Joe connects the dots and suggests that Sai might be remembering the accident involving Xin Yu Lin's sister, who died. This revelation prompts them to search for him. They find Si in the same place where they had gone together before. Chung sits in the dorm, reminiscing about that place, and eventually heads there where she finds Sai. She asks him why he hasn't been answering her calls or talking to her. She declares that if she's not important to him, she will leave. Just as she turns to go, Sai grabs her hand, telling her to stay with him. She questions why he abandoned her and ran away instead of helping her. Sai opens up about remembering the accident. He explains that while driving her home, he was speeding, and when he tried to stop, he realized the brakes had failed. They crashed into the water, and she died. He begs her to stay with him always because he doesn't want to lose someone important again. Later, C visits Chang in the hospital and apologizes. Lin, needing to use the bathroom, asks Sai for help and he assists him. Then Sai receives a call from his manager who informs him about a commercial shoot on the beach. Lin tells Chang that they come from different worlds and shouldn't get close to each other. C tries to overcome his fear of water, but struggles. Chung steps in and tells him she will help him. She tells him that whenever he thinks about something he loves, he should focus on it. She starts helping him by having them both stand in a fountain and dance together. For the next step, she takes him to a swimming pool, and for the final step, they head to the beach. Initially, he is terrified, but when she falls into the water, he rushes in to save her. After pulling her out, she faints. 
When she regains consciousness, she finds herself in the hospital with him beside her. He is extremely worried about Chang and keeps asking about her. His manager enters and reassures him that she is fine and has left him a message. In the note, she explains that her grandfather was unwell, so she had to travel. Feeling unimportant, she gets upset and leaves. Si decides to visit a grave for the first time and runs into Lin. Meanwhile, Chong sits with her grandfather and learns that he wasn't actually sick, he did it just to see her. She asks him to tell her what happened to her parents. He reveals that he disapproved of their marriage, so they ran away and returned to the city to get married. An accident occurred shortly after she was born, leading to her mother's immediate death. Her father fell from a cliff, and they could never find his body. Sai calls her, telling her he's on his way and asks for her address to visit her. Her grandfather answers and provides directions to their home in the village, saying he will show her Sai's true face. When Si arrives, she greets him warmly. However, while they're at her house, the roof collapses, prompting her grandfather to ask Si to fix it. At college, Chang carries a lot of things, and Lin tries to help her, but she brushes him off and walks away, which frustrates him. Her grandfather takes Si to a plot of land to plant some crops, and tells Chang to prepare dinner while they're gone. When they return, they see smoke coming from the house, making them think there's a fire, but she assures them that she finished cooking. Her friend arrives, dressed in traditional village clothing, and introduces herself to Sai as her close friend. Chang is surprised and tells her that her grandfather asked her to dress this way. They sit down to eat, but the food looks unappetizing. When Sai tastes it, he insists it actually tastes good. We see Nai trying to get closer to Sai, which annoys Chang. Later, they go for a walk, and he reminds her to take care of her friend. Then, they find a paper airplane and fly it, making her happy. She shares that as a child, she used to fly paper airplanes with her mom and dad, and that's the only memory she has of them. Sai then tells her that she is very precious to him and that he fears losing her. He admits that he has feelings for her, leaving Chang flustered and unsure of how to respond. As he is about to kiss her, she interrupts them and walks away. While they are walking, she mentions that she tried to get close to Sai to determine if he is a good person. That night, Sai and Chang sit together, and he expresses that he didn't know how to respond to her about his feelings for her. She tells him that she needs some time to think, and will get back to him. The next day, Chang wakes up to find Sai fixing the electricity. He then informs her that he has to go to South Korea for his album. Later, when her grandfather wakes up, he tells her that he wants to know the truth about Sai and Chang. The following day, Chang goes to college and waits for Chang. Lin approaches her and mentions that he reserved a spot at a restaurant for them to eat. She declines his offer, but when Chang arrives and says she's hungry, they agree to go with Lin. When Chang heads to the restroom in the restaurant, Lin follows her and reveals that he knows she is the granddaughter of a businessman. He threatens her, saying if she doesn't stay away from C, he will expose everything to the media, destroying C's career. When she asks him why he's doing this, he claims that Sai doesn't deserve her love. After Si returns from his trip and visits college, he feels like Chang is ignoring him. He asks her why, and she explains that she needed time to think about things before giving him an answer. This makes Sai happy, but she clarifies that she believes it's better for them to just be friends. Sai leaves, and she ends up crying. The next day in class, Sai tells her that someone has released the same song he did recently and people are accusing him of stealing the melody. We see Si at a concert, and Chang attends to support him. After the concert, he goes home and considers calling Chang, but ultimately hesitates. The press then approaches Sai's manager, and mentions that they will prove Si's innocence in three days, and Sai is set to release a new song. Chang learns where the song was released, which is near the university. She asks Joe to go with her to investigate. They go to a cafe, acting like detectives, and request a list of customers. They find Lin's name on the list. Chang confronts Lin, telling him she knows he was behind all of this. He admits she is correct, but claims she doesn't have any proof. She asserts that she will find evidence and reveal the truth. Chang then goes to the house of the boy who sang the song and offers him money in exchange for him telling the press that he stole the melody from C. He tells her that everything is recorded, and he can use the recording to ruin C. In response, she punches him 
takes the recording, and runs away. She goes to Lin and tells him she knows they stole the song and that it would be best if they confessed and expressed remorse. Lin leaves her and walks away. Si's father finds out what happened and goes to talk to him saying he appreciates his talent and that he shouldn't let this situation get him down. He tells Sai that to write a song, he should think about what he loves and cares for the most, then gives him a gift. When the three days pass, reporters gather, eagerly waiting for Sai's new song. Si arrives late to the press conference and his father and friends are watching the broadcast anxiously. Sai finally enters and tells everyone that he wrote the song for a special person in his life. He performs the song, and everyone loves it, exposing who actually stole the melody. Afterward, he tells Chang that the song was for her. When Si learns that Lin was attacked by fans, he goes to protect him, covering his face so no one will recognize him. Lin asks why he's doing this, and Si says it's because they are like brothers. They lean on each other and Chang sees them. The next day, as exams approach, all the students gather in the library. Chang and Si make plans to meet up that night. She then sees Si studying in the library and sits beside him, and they study together. Later, she tells Joe she wants to confess her feelings to Sai, but she hasn't revealed her real identity yet. Joe advises her to tell him the truth, warning that if Sai finds out she lied, he'll be deeply hurt. Chong drinks until she can barely stand, and as Joe helps her out of the bar, Someone takes a photo of them together. The next day, she goes to the library, where Sai sees her and asks her to stay. She starts crying, so he wipes her tears and apologizes for everything he's done. As Joe and Chang are walking, Joe confesses that he used to love her. But when he realized she loved Sai, he accepted it and managed his feelings. He tells her they can be like siblings and friends, then hugs her. Si overhears them and accuses her of lying, thinking she and Joe deceived him. Chang tries to explain that she and Joe met up so she could ask him how to tell Si the truth. Sai responds sarcastically, Is that why you hugged each other? Showing her the photo he has as proof. He tells her they lied to him and walks away. Chang is about to follow him, but Joe stops her. When she returns to the dorm, Chang reveals her true identity. Chang tells her she understands and that she must have her reasons for everything. The next day, Chang goes to class and provokes her pushing her to admit that she got close to Sai for the money and that he will belong to her. Chang secretly records the whole confession. The following day after the exam, Chang tries to talk to Si, but just then, Chang plays the recording over the college speakers. Si feels hurt, tells her he loved her, and walks away. Joe follows Si and explains that he did love Chang, but once he realized she was Chang, he controlled his feelings because he would never betray his friend. Joe tells Si they're like brothers, but Sai punches him, saying he doesn't have a brother like that, and walks off. Later, Chang receives an email on the account where she posts her illustrations of Si. The email is from Sai's manager, asking her to create a cartoon for Si's new album. Chang worries that if Sai discovers she has a third identity, he'll be very upset. She decides to meet with Si's manager, wearing a mask to avoid being recognized. Si notices the necklace she's wearing and realizes it's Chang. He angrily pulls off her mask and asks her how many personalities she actually has. She tells him she was going to explain everything, but that he didn't give her a chance to talk. They go to a press meeting, where she reveals she's his assistant, his biggest fan, and the artist behind the illustrations. Back in college, Lin's friends mock her, and Lin stands up for her, even getting into a fight over it. He then finds Chang, who is crying, and comforts her, saying they're friends, and that he'll protect her if anyone bothers her. The next day in class, the teacher congratulates Sai for improving his grades and asks him to thank Chang for helping him. The teacher wishes everyone a good holiday. Then, Chang's classmates tell her about a legend. If someone stands by the college clock, confesses their true feelings, and speaks from the heart, their wish will come true. He goes and tells him that he promised not to love the girl Sai loves. He explains everything, and they reconcile. Later. She goes to the clock tower and wishes she could turn back time. Just then, she hears someone say she should be locked in the room forever. She gets scared, but it turns out to be Sai, who tells her he loves her, whether she's Chin or Chang, and he kisses her. When Si gets home, he talks with Chen, but then his friend Ting calls, telling him she's on vacation and that they're planning a beach trip at the end of the week with the whole group. 
She invites him to join, having secretly coordinated this with Xin Yao. Si agrees, and they all set off for the trip, only to be surprised to see Chen with them. They decide to play volleyball with the team split up. During the game, Si accidentally hits the ball at Chen who feels jealous. The girls then agree to target Sai with the ball managing to hit him several times. He quickly realizes they're doing it on purpose, stops the game and takes Chen aside to leave together. Later that night, Chen jokingly says they need to punish him for losing the game, and the punishment is that he must be her boyfriend. They confess their feelings to their friends, and Chen tells him she loves him and that he promised to always take care of her. Si responds that she misunderstood. He only meant he'd always care for her as a sister. Hurt, Chen leaves and heads to her room, and Si follows her. Chen tells him that if Si isn't in her life, there's no reason for her to go on. Later, while she's alone in her room, she doesn't answer when Ting calls or open the door. Si and the others come to her room, break in, and find she's attempted suicide. They rush her to the hospital. The next day, Chen's grandfather calls to say he's not feeling well. She assures him she'll take the first flight to see him, tells Si, and heads out on her journey. As Si is sitting beside her, Chang comes to talk to him. She tells him that Tin attempted suicide because of him and that he wouldn't want her to die, as her family only has her. Sai responds, saying he loves Chen and can't love anyone else. Later, when Sai returns home, he gets a call asking him to come to the hospital. When he arrives, he finds out Tin has tried to commit suicide again. She hands him a letter from her, and Tin's mother says that although they didn't blame him after her death, she can't bear to lose her daughter as well. The doctor comes out and tells them they managed to save her this time, but it will be difficult if there's a next time. Tin's mom tells Sai that he can't leave her again, and that he should set a date to come and formally propose. Meanwhile, at Chen's house, a doctor informs her that her grandfather's health has worsened, and that he can no longer handle work stress. Chen tells her grandfather that she will take over running the business. She's in the office talking to Sai, who tells her that their relationship is hurting those around them and that they need to separate. She agrees and hangs up, leaving Sai in tears. When Tin regains consciousness, she finds Sai beside her and hugs him, telling him that as long as he's with her, she won't harm herself. Chen dreams that Sai has married someone else, and she wakes up startled. She sees a message from Sai, apologizing for the harm he's caused to everyone around him and asking for her forgiveness. John goes to see Sai and brings him a wedding invitation. He tells Sai he shouldn't marry her if he doesn't truly love her, and that he's wronging Chen. Si replies that he's already hurt Chen's family once and doesn't want to cause them more pain. At a press conference for his new album for which Chen has designed the cover, a journalist asks Sai about Chen, and he nervously says that working with her was good. Meanwhile. Tin is picking out a wedding dress, and Sai happens to see her. She suggests getting engaged to see, but John tells her that Sai loves Chen, not her. Hurt, she walks away. Si then calls Chen, apologizes, and says he can't bear for her to hurt herself because of him. He tells her he's decided to go through with the engagement. Chen responds, telling him to stop apologizing so he doesn't seem uncertain about his decision. He tells her that he's made his choice and now has to take care of her. They say goodbye, hang up, and both start crying. Sai then goes for a walk, visiting the place where he first met her. As he moves around, memories of their time together flood his mind. The next day, Chen's grandfather talks to her, saying he supports whatever decision she makes, not wanting to repeat the mistakes he made with her mother. The wedding day arrives, and as Tin enters the church, she announces that Sai is her fiance. She pulls out a card from his album which gives her the right to hold his hand for five seconds. After the time passes, Chen jokingly tells her that she has many more of those cards and then drops them around her. Si, however, speaks up, declaring that he loves Chen and can't keep lying to himself, Tin, or others. Si takes Chen by the hand and they run out together. Tin is left in shock and later John tells her not to feel heartbroken over someone who doesn't love her and assures her that she'll find someone else who truly cares for her. Meanwhile, Chen decides to create a book about Sai, documenting his words and thoughts. We see Lin and Chang coming back from their first movie date, and the next day at college, two girls make fun of Chen. Lin overhears them and steps in, defending her. Later, he finds her in the library, admits he's made many mistakes, 
and, holding her hand, asks if she'll be his girlfriend. She agrees. On the first day of the new school year, Chen decides to go in her natural look. Everyone at college admires her and C sees her feeling a pang of jealousy. Without realizing it, he starts speaking loudly, catching the attention of the entire class. When they're on the field later, a crowd gathers around Sai, but he realizes they're actually there to give gifts for Chen, asking him to pass them along. He also notices a big group of fans around Chen, so he hands her the flowers he has and walks away. Si then asks Chen to go back to wearing her glasses and dressing as she did before. The next day she agrees and resumes her old look. As they walk together, someone gives her a strange look, which bothers her as she realizes they find her unattractive in her natural style. To cheer her up, Sai puts on glasses as well, joking that now nobody will recognize him either. They go to the movies and watch a horror film. She tells him, if you're scared, just hold me and I'll protect you. But the moment the movie starts, it's Chen who clings tightly to Sai. Later that evening, they find out there are rumors about Chen only getting close to Sai for his looks. Chen, determined, says she'll prove herself. The next day, Chen starts working as a Taekwondo instructor for kids. But she can't keep them under control, so she quits. She then tries working as a ballet instructor but doesn't succeed there either. She sits with C, feeling defeated, and tells him she failed. Later, Lin visits Chang at her workplace and tells her she doesn't need to work and jokes that he even bought her something, which annoys her. He clarifies that he's just kidding and hands her her father's art book, suggesting she probably inherited his talent. Inspired, Chen decides to pursue art as her goal. We then see Chen and Sai spending time at the beach together, sharing a kiss. She goes on to apply for a job as an illustrator at a company. Six months later, Sai's manager tells him he's been given an opportunity to go to the U.S. to work on an album, and that Chen could possibly join him. Sai meets with Chen, but doesn't mention his news. Later, as they're sitting with John, the press arrives and asks Si about his possible travel plans. He asks them not to spread rumors since nothing is confirmed yet. The next day, Chen gets an offer to work for a company in Japan, but declines because she doesn't want to be far from Sai, saying she can illustrate from anywhere. Sai then finally tells her that his company wants to send him to the U.S., though he's still thinking about it. Hurt that he didn't tell her sooner, and that she found out from the news, she gets upset and walks away. She later sends him a voice message saying she isn't mad and encourages him to go and chase his dreams. Si agrees to the trip and meets Chen, letting her know he's leaving in two days. He asks her to come with him to the airport, but she refuses, suggesting they say their goodbyes here. She hugs him tightly and walks away. On his way to the airport, Sai suddenly decides not to leave and turns back to find her. Meanwhile, Chen heads to the airport to say goodbye after all, but when she doesn't find him there, she assumes he left. Later, she returns to college and finds Si waiting for her, singing to her. The series ends with Chen in a happy relationship with Sai. Lin has become more sociable and gets along better with others. John meets a new girl who catches his eye. Meanwhile, Tin and her husband have welcomed a baby girl and Chen releases her first illustrated comic book.